Hello guys, hello and welcome to my channel. First I want to say big thanks to Mighty Jingles to bringing you all here. I don't know how much subs I get in the last 24 hours, but I think there was a lot of new subs, so I just want to record one quality video for you guys in 180p 60fps with best quality on YouTube. I will try to have the best quality on YouTube. Let's try it because Inko said that I'm really good video editor, so I will try to bring you the quality. But let's go back to this replay. Why is this replay special and why I want to show you this one? You know, I come yesterday, I come after the work home and I was a bit tired, you know, you make a dinner and just make coffee for me and just want to play a couple of games. World of Tanks, chill a bit. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. I read a lot of comments. Yeah, chill with World of Tanks. You can dream, Mr. Crow, you can dream, but still, I, you know, just want to play a couple of good games. You know, I miss sometimes to play World of Tanks, especially when I'm working and I don't, don't have time. And I take the grill and I got the map Abbey. And Abbey is not so good map for not only for TDs, but for a lot of things, it's bad map, you know, because you have left side, you have right side, you have middle. If you go in the middle, it's only good for the light things or even for the medium things. If you take, if you take the Abbey or the middle of the city, I don't know how to call it. The left side, even or less, it's good when there is no RT, but the right side, I'm talking now about the right side, if you are watching from my spawn, it's good for heavy tanks, but still, it's map, but you cannot have epic game. You can have 3000, 4000, even 5000 damage in this map, but everything more than that is just epic game, and it's hard to gain damage in this map, it's really hard. So. I take with TD the middle, the Abbey, because, you know, guys who are watching me a couple of months, years, centuries, you know, they know that I play TDs only aggressive. Uh, how you mean, Mr. Crow, only aggressive? Yeah, you will never see me camp with TDs. I always go somewhere where you don't expect me, and that is the reason why guys like my streams and why guys like my videos, because no matter am I playing mediums, heavies, lights, TDs, I always play aggressive, I always go into the first slide, I always go on position where enemy doesn't expect me and I have epic games and I always can show a lot of games on my channel. Epic games, that is the, that is the reason why I like to play like that. Maybe I'm not the best player on the planet and I always have mistakes like everyone else and my stats are not the best, but I think it's everything, you know, I'm a good player and I think that style is really, really nice to watch for the viewers and I will stay with that style. I can always be better player, you know, increase my stats and everything else, but I will never do that because I want to stay from the first day I start to play World of Tanks. I start to play like, like that, you know, always want to have damage, always want to be best and so I always play like that. But let's go back to the replay, yo. I'm playing the grill 15 if you didn't notice until now in these four minutes, you know. I'm talking too much. I'm playing the grill 15. And until this point while I was speaking about the gameplay and everything else, you know, I have 3,800 damage so far. So, someone will say, okay, mister, un until this point you have really, really good game. 3,800 damage, really good, but it's not enough and it's not time yet so i try to shoot a bit left side and i relocate try to shoot the right side and i shoot t34-2 in the city and then i go back again on this position i'm trying to shoot these guys because if you notice on the mini map the right side is fallen and the left side i hope all the guys will take the left side and i'm waiting that they push that side so i can shoot Waffen Traeger or 1 to 1, but I'm expecting that they will fall back in one moment and I will slap them like I do it now in 1 to 1. So, really nice roll on 1 to 1 over the average. So, RNG God is with me today. And 4561 damage so far. 
And I see Ima Hundred is rolling into our base, and they have two Ima Hundreds, and we have LTT bit there, and I'm hoping that he will spot first Ima Hundred cross, and I'm too l I'm late for for sh I'm late to shoot that guy, but I'm hoping that LTT will spot another one, but nothing happened. And I see CDC, you know, my seventh sense is always tickling when something is spotted on the mini map because I one eye is always on the mini map and I play World of Tanks because mini map is most important part of the game. And if you want to be a good player, you always must watch the mini map and you always must see the tanks spotted and no, you always must know what is happening on the mini map, what is happening in the game. And mini map is telling you everything, but I don't want to now, I don't want to speak now about the game let's go back into this game into this match and now Skoda is spotted I finished before one to one I shoot Skoda Torto is shoot me and Torto is on that ridge with that insane DPM and I don't want to stay there I use my repair kit repair kit and instantly fall back just don't want to waste my time trying to shoot and pen and you know that Torto is I will lose that bet I have 1000 98 HP left. I received two shots, one from Skoda, one from Tortoise. And now I, I'm going away from the city. After uh, how much? Six, six minutes in the city, trying to shoot left side, right side, middle. I, I decide to go away because I have some feeling that they will push soon the city and just want to go on unexpected, unexpected position. I'm carrying the. I'm carrying the optics on my grill because the spots and you will see now why but before of that I showed the E100 because he go a bit more up and this is the reason why I say always optics are too OP for this game and my advice is always carry optics on all of your tanks because that is something that you always give you bigger chance than to the enemy and I slept that E100 on blind I predict his move I predict his movement and I hit him for 800 and now he noticed me because I don't have any more concealment and I'm going forward he shoot me into the tracks with uh, with hit and didn't pen me lucky me lucky me I have fast reload and I will try to finish this E100 because one one gun into the game less is better chance for us to win this game 500 damage and in this point I have more than 8500 5, 8, damage and now T-34 is pushing on me and Skoda with auto loader, but I will try to finish Skoda and lucky me is to finish the T-34-2 and I'm going forward because Ivan Handra is there and fortunately CDC rushing on me and I cannot fall back and CDC ram me, I ram him, I take five, fifth kill and I end this game on 8044 damage plus one blind shot that will be 8800 damage in this game. So guys, while we are losing this game, I will tell it right now. I show you just one fast game what I play and I hope you like this game. Just want to show you how you can have a good game if you go on some unexpect, unexpected position with your TD, you know. They didn't expect that probably. They think, oh, he will go maybe left, camp, snipe from the from background or, go and st or stay in the base in some bush, camp bush or do something, but you know. When you surprise them like that, you know, you can always have a good game. Not always. Sometimes they will push you, sometimes Artie will one-shot you, sometimes. You know, things can happen always, right? This is World of Tanks. But we are all living, we all are living for this kind of games. When you have epic games, epic results, you know, and it's just, I'm lucky that I can show you always good replays like this one. And Fosh finished the ISO and Fosh is now shoot hard this T95 who is lost in space. Typical TD player, no RT, he stay in base entire game. Didn't do nothing or didn't do anything. <laughs> and now it's just a matter of time and will he die? Torto is in his background, background on his ass. And Torto is missed for a shot, but second he will not miss. And that's it. Let's see the results of this game. Here we are guys, results of this game, unfortunately only first class, sorry, it's not the mastery badge, I cannot always show you the mastery badge, I must show you sometimes the first class or second class, you know, <laughs> I don't remember, did I, did I ever show the second class game, I think not, but 
never mind. Okay. I got the AI for an eye because I ram CDC, CDC ram me 76,563 credits received, 1,578 experience for this game. High caliber and thanks sniper, tanker sniper, I will read it correctly. This middle is really funny middle in because you will see now because why? <laughs> I have 8,820 damage, 5 kills, 6,701 base experience. Second guys, second guy in my team is mouse with 2,300 damage. But funny thing about the high caliber is that I, <laughs> that Posh have had really, really good game also. 7,300 damage, 6 kills, but I take his high caliber, you know. Imagine that feeling, you have 7,300 damage, you don't, you don't get the high caliber. <laughs> Sorry, Posh, but some, someone had a better day today. And let's show you the last page of this replay. 14 shots fired, 13, 13 penetration, 13 hits, 13 penetrations, 36,200 credits bonus through this game. And that, that's it, guys. What to say more? Replay is done. I hope you like it, like always, I hope that this video will have really, really good quality. I'm tasting something, I want to increase a bit more my quality of videos. I want to have one of the best YouTube World of Tanks videos, what you can see. You know, I'm talking now about the quality, but you will, you will, you will, I hope you will notice that. <laughs> 180 p 60 FPS incoming. Thank you for watching, guys, and see you into my next game. Into my next next game. Into my next click. La 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 la. Into my next click. Have a good day. Bye bye.